Hello and welcome. You're watching The Social Network. Just take a look, quick look at what's on the show today. Hours before the 64th Republic Day of India, another brutal murder and rape reported in the national capital region of a young girl student. Women across the country plan to reclaim the Republic by coming out on the streets to demand freedom from sexual violence against women. As a fresh set of names do the rounds for this year's Padma Awards, should the awardees reject these awards from a state that bans movies, free speech and is unable to prevent violence against women. Board of Twitter, then this is for you. Twitter's new app to capture six second videos and post them online, being called the Instagram of video, it could well be the next big thing on social media. On the eve of India's 64th Republic Day, another gruesome reminder of how unsafe our women continue to be in India. A young class 12 student has been allegedly raped and murdered in Faridabad on the outskirts of Delhi. This brutal incident coming only weeks after a young medical student was horrifically gang raped and beaten in the capital. So on the social network today, we discuss Reclaim the Republic, a freedom parade against sexual violence. All right, now we're joined by my colleague Sonal Mehrotra, who is in Faridabad and tracking this horrific, horrific, brutal murder. Sonal, if you can hear me, what details are you getting at the moment of this particular incident? Kashish, let's break down the sequence of events to you. This 16-year-old class 12th uh, girl went to her coaching class at 3 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday on Thursday. And when she did not return home till 6 o'clock in the evening, that's when the family started inquiring and registered a complaint with the police. Now, at around 9 o'clock last night is when the police found a body of a girl which was severely stabbed in the neck, in the stomach, also on the hands. And uh, a, a complaint was registered and the police found this body and tried to uh, get the identity of the girl. That's when the, uh, the family was informed around 11 o'clock and that's when they discovered that this was the girl. Now, uh, the police say that uh, when the family and the police interacted with the friends of the girl in the coaching class they went they were informed that there was apparently a 30 year old guy who was stalking her for the past couple of days that's when the police started investigating and today they have been able to arrest a 30 year old guy called sonu and he has confessed to killing the girl now we do not know the motive of the man just yet uh, it hasn't been confirmed just yet but police saying that apparently and by police sources we know that uh, uh, he wanted to marry her and, uh, and something which the girl was, uh, was not agreeing to and that's what led to a fight and later he stabbed and killed her. But uh, the details of, uh, uh, but you know, just to look into the manner in which the girl has been treated, brutally uh, stabbed on her neck, on her stomach and her parts of the body goes on to say the, the, the way the man really treated this young girl. The family as we speak is now heading into the last rites and are deeply at loss, they say. And they are alleging that the girl was first kidnapped, then raped, and then uh, murdered this way. But for details of that, we'll have to wait for the most bottom remote. Uh, Kashish? All right, Sonal, of course, uh, you know, you also did cover that horrific story just a few weeks ago of that 23-year-old medical student, this uh, shocking, brutal story once again in the national capital region. In fact, uh, you know, the brutality of this particular incident, once again, we've decided to change our topic on the social network just to get reactions. We've got Kavita Krishnan, who's uh, the uh, secretary of the All India Progressive Women's Association. We've also got Sucheta, who is, of course, going to be carrying out and spearheading that campaign tomorrow on Republic Day, joining us on Vo uh, video calls are Harini Kalimar, she's in Bombay, she's a blogger and a columnist and we've got Jasmine Patheja who's from The Blank Noise and of course just a quick reminder to all our viewers you can tweet us live as we speak on this topic. Kavita I just want to throw that out to you, just heard Sonal giving the details of that particular incident. I mean you know at some point words just fail you. You know I've just been you know if, if it was true that she was being stalked I mean this is what you know, in, even in these last couple of weeks, I've been writing and talking about one stalking incident. And in that case also, first the police didn't register a complaint and then finally they still haven't caught the guy. And even if they do, we still don't have a law that recognizes stalking. The Home Ministry, yeah. when women's groups had written saying, include stalking in the sexual violence uh, law, had written back saying, oh, we don't know how to prove stalking, which is completely crazy. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app.
download now.